talk about my morning mindset routine. How it's helped me on my journey towards reprogramming my mind, towards building better habits, and just towards reaching my higher self. do this. This whole thing started really around lockdown, working from home, and then just really observing how I was always on automatic all the time. Basically, I felt like a robot. You know, I had this bad habit of just waking up <laughs> and going straight to the computer first thing, straight to emails, messages, social media, just everything else except myself. But then at the same time, I have these issues. Perfectionism, lack of focus, worrying, overthinking, lack of boundaries, imposter syndrome, all of these issues right here. And here I am, not checking in with myself first thing. That doesn't work. So I'm like, something has to change here. Because it's not, the math ain't mapping. So how did I figure out what my habits and routines would be? Basically, I had to define my values, goals, aspirations, and figure out who do I want to become, what do I want to achieve, what's my purpose, what are my core values, what's the characteristics that I want to build, what type of identity do I want to cultivate for myself. I basically had to define that. And then from that, I went ahead and created the prescription for myself. about the implementation of this. It's all cool and dandy to have all these routines and rituals, but if I'm struggling sticking to habits, that's something that I need to address. If this were easy, what would it look like? For me, it looks like a daily page. And all I have to do, I have one job, show up to this page. Boom. <laughs> now I've tricked my mind into thinking, oh, this is completely easy. All you gotta do is show up to the page. The next thing with implementation is I have to know how long it takes. I'm using a timer, toggle track, and I'm timing how long it's taking me. How much time am I willing to create at the beginning of the day to start this before everything else? Because when I know the time and how long I'm willing to create, how long it takes me, then I can adjust my schedule accordingly. And finally, I have to create a shorter version because if I'm being very realistic, I don't have this time every single day. So having a shorter version of this routine is also very essential to continuing this habit through hard times, through busy times. The daily page. This is where it starts. So before this daily page, I struggled a lot to stick to habits. I struggled to reflect as much and introspect and figure out what's going on. To audit my day, I wasn't doing that. The purpose of the daily page is to build habits that I can track, create routines that I can stick to, reflect and introspect on what's going on in my life. This daily page has a lot of sections. There's a habit tracker at the top of the page. Then there's gratitude questions. And then there's the reflection questions. I got my routine batching going on. And the most important question, what could I have improved on today? Shout out to August Bradley for this template. He has so many different resources that help with creating a life operating system. So this daily page, I've been able to customize it in a way that works for me. But the whole idea and the base of this template is absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna link it down below. Mindset practice. Before this, I had a lot of limiting beliefs just buried in my subconscious mind. And then I would have these behaviors and I would be like, where did this come from? Where does this bad habit come from? What is going on? Why am I, why? Now with the mindset practice, I am now removing limiting beliefs by reprogramming the mind with new empowering beliefs. Removing a lot of these uh, negative reinforcements that don't belong here. Getting rid of them and saying, hey, no, this is it. So now we're replacing 
these thoughts, reinforcing new things, getting rid of the old, starting to really understand myself, understanding what I stand for, what I believe in, what I trust in, what do I want? Not what do people want for me, it's what do I want? This is a practice, it has to be repeated. Repetition is the mother of learning. The mindset page has these powerful statements organized by category. There's identity sculpting. There's values and principles for each pillar of my life. There's a vision board. Again, shout out August Bradley's. It starts with the base template and I went ahead and added my own. This is very much personalized so that I can feel the information, I feel it. Inside of the quotes page, these are the main highlights for my entire system. I am, I will, I do. It's constantly beating into my mind like this is it. You are already doing it. Come on, come on. Faith building. This is a section that has constant reminders of hope and faith, love, humility, generosity, trust, believing, gratitude. There's just so much positivity. The struggles that I had before faith building, it's just weak hope, weak self dialogue, and just a slow process of recovery. And for me, faith looks like God has me covered. God has my back. God is supplying my needs. The Holy Spirit is working within me, giving me that energy, and it's nourishing the mind, it's supplying the mind, and it's just very awakening. And so with the spiritual journey, understood it looks different for everybody, and that is fine. But to find a spiritual journey that just really speaks to the heart, it's positive. Now for this section, I use the Bible app, and the Bible app has daily Bible stories, Similar to the stories you see on Instagram where people take you through their day, the Bible app takes you through the verse of the day. There's a speaker that explains the verse of the day, there's reflection questions, there's a devotional, there's a prayer, and it's just very fulfilling to go through this workshop. And I have my own template in Notion, and I go in and I fill it all out, and I highlight what speaks to me. When I do my prayer, I also do a visualization practice. So I'm praying, and then I'm also visualizing how I want the day to go in a very positive, uplifting way. Meditation. This one is very profound. Before meditation, I found that I was more reactive, less aware in my day, overthinking all the time. And then when I started meditating, I started to observe these thoughts more and bring them out. Really highlight not identifying with thought and just realize these moods, these thoughts, these sensations, these are all objects in consciousness. And to just see them as objects. It's like watching a movie. The previous app I used to use is called Shine, which is an awesome app. And it was more compassion based, more about love and kindness and forgiving the self, which I find is very important because this whole journey, there's going to be a lot of failure. And if I'm not able to forgive myself and show myself compassion, what's going to happen is I'm going to beat myself down into this hole. And now not only am I not keeping up with my routine, but now I have to try to climb out of this hole. So now that's double trouble. But if I mess up and I tell myself, shoot, I messed up, but I showed up and I tried, I'm gonna try again tomorrow. I am, I will, I can, I do. Those words are very important in the process of recovery. The app that I currently use is called Waking Up by Sam Harris. And I find this app has a metaphysical approach. It's focusing more on the mind and the body. And in this app, there's also a whole lot of podcasts and different talks and different categories. There's stats as well, so I can see how I'm doing. And there's also a timer. Journaling. The whole point and the reason of journaling is to reveal and heal from things that have occurred that are still affecting me today. I noticed these intrusive thoughts going on in my head and these thoughts are festering and they're taking up precious space 
and it needs to come out because it's very toxic. When I started journaling consistently, I found that I had more space in my mind to think clearly. You know, I'm decluttering the mind. Now let's talk about how, how I journal. Starting with the daily page that I spoke about earlier, a lot of the times with the gratitude questions, don't prompt me into a deeper journaling session. And I'll end up moving that into Jor. It is a guided journaling app and it has so many sections. And I love that I can check in with my mood, check in with the categories of life that I'm dealing with. I can look at stats, do breathing practices, do free writing entries. I also want to talk about another method of journaling called shadow work. And with shadow work, I'm getting in touch with parts of myself that I've repressed. We're doing some trauma healing here. There are shadow work challenges, or you can create your own shadow work. Holding yourself accountable and really wanting to change is what really makes me even want to do this in the first place because it, it goes deep. It goes deep. Stretching. Paying attention to the mind. Paying attention to the body. Taking care of the self. Improving mobility. Increasing circulation to the brain. Enhancing the mood. And just moving around first thing in the morning and it feels great. Now for my stretches, I've chosen to do splits progression stretches. I've been wanting to learn the splits and what's better than to implement these stretches in my morning routine because I always have an excuse as to why I'm not learning my splits. And then I went ahead and also implemented intervals timer and yeah I just combine the two and I do them for about a minute on with a 20 second press. I would say I take about seven to 10 minutes a day stretching in the morning. And so I'm excited. It just goes to show how just putting in a little bit every single day actually does work. Cause I couldn't do the splits before this. Those are all the rituals that I do that help me to boost my mind in the morning, to help me to check in with myself and make sure I'm doing okay. To help me take care of myself before I dive into what the world has waiting for me. <laughs> And I'm still continuing the process. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. Let me know what you've been doing as well, what has been helping you. And, and yeah, I hope that was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.